Hi guys. You know, it's a great thing to have a motorcycle that runs good. I mean, really good. When it comes on the pipe and you feel that acceleration, there's nothing like it in the world. And I am going to hopefully help you to have your bike running as good as possible. This is the list of my two-stroke design calculators. There's six of them. They run on Excel, and it doesn't matter if you use Windows or Macintosh. The first one and the most extensive that took the most time for me to make uh, is the expansion chamber calculator. Let's take a look at it. This calculator is uh, is very extensive and yet it uh, it's not hard to use really. It's just a little bit detail oriented. Like here on this sheet, you have to enter in the widths of each millimeter going down of the exhaust port. And my website tells you how to do that. And you have to know the exhaust durations, the uh, end of power band, RPM, and uh, that's pretty much it and then you just uh, I give guidelines on how to uh, on what a typical uh, lengths are for the uh, different cones and belly and then you set the header to match the uh, these two numbers right here on sheet 2 you're able to design the, the cones and then the program gives you numbers that you need to enter into sheet three. This would be the number section for the diffuser and then the number section for the baffle. And then it gives you a waves calculator, return waves calculator, which your cylinder would see. And you're able to enter in the RPM and uh, this right here will calculate a certain number that you will enter in for that RPM and using all these numbers for for about a uh, 3000 RPM range it will show you the uh, pipe power and the RPM it begins and ends at and what's exclusive to this calculator as compared to others is that it's got an acceleration power calculator. This right graph right here is the, the horsepower needed to maintain speed at uh, this RPM according to the uh, gear that you selected. And the difference between the, this is the pipe and the engine power combined, the red graph. The difference between the, the green graph and the red graph is this graph right here. And this right here to right here is the, R, is the RPM range for that gear that you're in according to your upshift RPM. So the idea is to get this as as even as possible left or right and manipulating the uh, waveform of the uh, the pipe power will enable you to do that. That is sheet three and then of course on sheet four right here you can it, there's a calculator for showing you how to draw on a uh, poster board this type of method of drawing the, uh, the layout for the, the cone which is this gray area right here so that is the expansion chamber calculator next is the squish velocity calculator Everyone needs to do that because of manufacturing tolerances and occasionally there are a few bikes made that, that the factory just plain screwed up and they, they made it with too high a velocity which makes it prone to detonation. A Honda CR500 is one example. 
So even if you buy an aftermarket gasket, you might be changing the squish velocity. So this is very good for, for determining what it is, which is the results right here. And the, the goal is to have 20 to 23 uh, meters per second at the uh, peak power RPM. Next, we've got the uh, crank calculator. If you get a, a crankshaft that uses holes or doesn't have holes and you're going to put holes into it to balance it, this shows you what the balance would be. This red graph right here is the actual uh, force um, in uh, 360 degrees. You can see it's not a circle. It's, uh, it's a strange combination of about three or four forces. The inertia, the centripetal force of the uh, up and down piston assembly, the, uh, the counterbalance on the crank, and uh, the, um, the compression. So the idea is to get this, uh, this ratio right here close to anywhere between 1 to 1.1, which will give you the best balance, of course, because uh, a two-stroke is inherently imbalanced. It will never be perfect. And the bigger the bore of the engine, the more imperfect it will be no matter how perfectly balanced you make it but this is the most professional way to do it because it takes into account all of the the weights all of the measurements of the crank the the piston assembly and it very accurately determines what that what that outcome is it's it's excellent i highly recommend it I had a KX, KDX 200 that needed this years ago, but I did not invent it back then. This is the energy, um, what did Yamaha call it? Energy, let me look up. Energy induction system. It was made by Yamaha. Let me show you the first. Uh, this right here is the first one. It connects by hose to the uh, to the uh, intake system. And what it does it it balances out. A very bad thing that happens as a result of using an, an expansion chamber. This is a typical horsepower graph. Uh, this is at partial throttle. This is at full throttle. This little dip right here in power is what you're you're countering. Of course, if you're if you're racing, most racers keep it within the power band, and they don't let it get down to that that part of the RPM range, but if you're uh, riding trail or street or anything other than racing, actually, you're going to experience that RPM range. And this shows the uh, what happens during that dip. The air-fuel ratio becomes uh, richer, too rich. And with the boost system, you've got this graph right here, which shows that it balances it out. So uh, it's very easy to use and with all my calculators I have online instructions on my website so it's not no one has had a problem using my calculators. This is my porting calculator. It's based upon my own research into engines and it's not using the port mean area that was a method devised for GP racers by Yamaha back in the day but my study on that shows that it only works for those GP racers 
So this may be helpful, but it's this one and the next one are free with the purchase of any of the first four calculators that I showed you. This is the oil ratio calculator. This to me is one of the most important ones, but <laughs> because I don't know, people are just, they're like, well, I use this ratio and it's good enough and I don't give a shit. And so it's because of people's attitude, this is one of the freebies, but it's actually one of my favorites. If you know the viscosity, the flashpoint, and uh, that's it of any of any oil. If you get it from their, their website or directly by emailing them, you can enter that in. Uh, right here, viscosity, flashpoint, and maximum RPM, and then uh, this fuel oil ratio, you will keep changing that until this number matches this number. And it it takes into account what type of riding you do, uh, whether or not your cylinder is iron or uh, plated, and whether or not you have an air-cooled or water-cooled engine. That's the air-cooled sheet. This is a water-cooled sheet. And I love it. It's given me so much insight into different oils, and this is different ones that I've analyzed. And it shows me which ones are lying pieces of shit and which ones are really good. So those are my those are my calculators. And if you have any questions about any of them, uh, after going to this website here, you can uh, email me and ask me any questions you like. Thanks for watching.